Uh, I think uh, I see I see Teresa on the other side of the room. Teresa, can we do the Microsoft uh, awarding? Are we ready for that? I'd like to also say Mary Baker, one of our also awesome, awesome, awesome people that helped us make this event possible. Can we get a round of applause for her too? And Teresa, please give a round of applause for Teresa, everybody. Thank you, Teresa. All right, so we, we, sorry, sorry we missed you earlier. We were deliberating. We wanted to put a little thought into the prize that we were giving out. So um, we have decided to award our Dell Venue Pro to eMeetAdor. Congratulations for your use of uh, best use of Microsoft Azure Cloud and the Bing API. Thank you. <laughs> Woo! I mean, who was not impressed with the clever use of APIs for an endpoint that would save lives and be incredibly useful? Thank you so much. It's it's an honor. Yeah. Awesome. Fabulous. Yeah. Uh, so also, um, uh, as, as IBM said earlier, they're going to be giving their award uh, at the global level when that's going to be happening. So their award presentation on, on Wednesday to each city. Okay, so, so no presentation now currently. Okay, fantastic. Uh, Socrata, would you like to, do, to give the award for your uh, interstellar sponsorship? Come on up. So, as you'll all remember, our award was called the Open Data Award, and there was really just one requirement. It was that you had to use open data of some form, hopefully that which is on data.nasa.gov. Um, there were a lot of great competitors. There were nine teams in particular who used data that qualified for this award. So, so again, we wanted to congratulate two teams that we thought did an amazing job with using this open data that we hope that can improve the quality of life. And so the first team we wanted to award is NY Space Tag. Congratulations. And the second group that we wanted to also award to this is uh, Wildfire Navigator. Congratulations, guys. Now, before we take a picture, we, Socrata doesn't make any hardware, so we can't really give you something physical, physical, but um, we do have some American Express gift cards, which hopefully you guys can deploy to make some other technology in some way. Celebrate your success. Yeah, yeah. Take a picture? Yeah, sure. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Uh, we have a couple of other sponsors that have some prizes that we will be uh, presenting. Uh, we're just getting, we're collecting those team names now. Okay, it looks like we have two Star Wars Lego sets and two drones, uh, which have been provided by Intel. Uh, and Intel would like to award these prizes to Space Sloth. Come on up. It's all yours. 
Congratulations. Thank, thank you guys for all your hard work this weekend. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Um, I'm going to announce winners in groups. Emily is going to comment on why we thought the winners were significant, and then Katie's going to finish up with remarks at the end, although she may also jump in with comments. So we're going to start with two new categories we created, uh, one for STEM outreach. Uh, we had probably six or seven entries in that category, and we would like to award honorable mention to Hamster Knot and Oregon Trajectory. So th we picked these because we thought they were super um, fun. They were going to be really engaging and reach a wide audience. Are the winners here? No, or like, do they come up or anything? Or no? Sure. To should they should they come up, Mike? Let's do it. Take a bow on the stage. Take a bow, guys. Um, come on. Hamster knot was just adorable, up. and we loved that there was different levels that you could pick the adult level with the with the glasses or the the fun level where it took the NASA information and told a story about it. An Oregon trajectory, I would love to see a new generation that's also hooked on the Oregon Trail of the old days. Everybody playing this in every computer library. <laughs> Actually, we, we usually take a picture with all the winners today, so you guys just go wait in the corner and we'll get you all up on stage on together. It's gonna be a big just go group. right back in the corner. Yeah, it is gonna be a big group. <laughs> Okay, and we figured our second category, because we are interested in involving young people, we have to, we have to walk the talk. Uh, so we created an up and coming category, and P Tech Sensor is the clear winner on that. So we were so impressed that this was y'all's first time working with a lot of the different hardware that you used. You integrated a lot of different stuff. You demoed it live for us. We were very, very impressed. And we expect to hear a lot more from you in the future. OK. So again, if everybody can just kind of gather a little bit in the corner, we'll call you back for a photo in a little bit. Uh, so the, we're going to go category by category now. Uh, most inspiring is a category that NASA give us, gives us, and we would like to name Asteroid Ascent. Congratulations. <laughs> and most enthusiastic. Uh, and to say this is a really, really important problem, not just for NASA, but for the Earth. When you think about it, you know, asteroids are not going to respect you know, the lines of certain countries or certain places. I mean, it's a problem for the whole planet. And it's basically a PR problem at this point. You know, in that we, I mean, there's work we need to do to do surveys, um, and at the same time, we need everybody to understand this enough that they know that they need to care about it, they know they need to do something about it, and we just saw all the elements in your presentation that will help people uh, know what we think they need to know about the asteroid problem, so thank you. Next, uh, congratulations. Next category is Galactic Impact, and we would like to name Wildfire Navigator. We thought this one was a great use of NASA data and putting it to use for like specific advice for, our, our, um, for people to take on Earth in order to find the safest ways between their two points. Uh, next uh, next uh, category was best mission concept, and the winner is Dems.
So Victor had to leave to, to catch a flight to the airport, but he was definitely taking notes because <laughs> apparently NASA is interested in, in using some kind of copter or something on the Mars 2020 mission. And <laughs> we are too. Oh, very creative. Okay, we're down, we're down to the two final categories, and the winners in these categories are both going to go on to the global competition from here. There's no ranking, so don't read anything into my reading one before the other. They will both go forward. Uh, best use of hardware, we have named firsthand. I think everybody heard Katie say that this is a real problem that they have in space, the lack of feedback from, you know, that the astronauts can't even feel their fingers in the gloves because they're so worried about other things. And so this is a, a real problem that they've started a solution to. So that's fantastic. Okay. And for best use of data, New York Space Tags. That's three-time winner, Jonathan Roberts. This is also a problem that NASA have. They has a, have a huge amount of data um, and you know, not a lot of great ways to find that data. And so hopefully New York Space Tags is gonna help start to solve that problem. Okay, so before we do the photographs, we wanted to invite Katie to come up and make some closing remarks. So I just, um, first I wanna clarify one thing that when we said at the end that these are the two groups that go forward um, and we named the categories, it's not that those categories right. automatically went forward, it's just that out of everybody, this is who we chose, Correct. and you happen to be in the hardware and data categories. But I just wanted, to, so first of all, to congratulate the winners. We're all really excited about all of you. It was not an easy choice, as you can tell from the length of time it took us in the room, because you know this work, it's all, it's all really exciting, and it's full of possibilities. You know, th these things, you know, some of them will go forward as the way, the way they are, but who knows, you know, you've, you've made, you've brought these ideas forward. Everybody in this room, I think, is reasonably creative with some reasonable skills. And when you take that and you put it together, you know, who knows where these ideas are gonna go and where these concepts are gonna go. So something like Space Apps is just, it's just the beginning and there's so many ripples. and. And I've, I've really enjoyed watching the teamwork and the number of people working together that don't know each other and learning to work together when you're tired and you're impatient and you just, just want it all to be done. Dealing with something that you have really well planned out and then it doesn't work. These are all real world issues and things that, you know, when solving hard, hard problems, this is part of it. And I, I just really thought that people did a great job. You know, all weekend long, I've been kind of poking in and watching people and talking to people. And I, I, I think at the beginning, when I made my opening remarks, I kind of lectured everybody about being inclusive and letting people surprise you. And I, I just think that a lot of people have done that uh, this weekend. I think you probably had people on teams that you didn't expect to you know, bring what they brought. People bring surprising things if you let them. And, and that's really the best part of everything that we do here this weekend is that it's the beginning of other things. And I just wanted to, you know, bring one thing out is uh, in terms of beginnings, we did for the first time the data boot camp on Friday where we brought in specifically, um, you know, just advertised to places where we, we knew we would find uh, girls that were interested in coding. And we had a very young audience, I think 75 uh, turned up, and so many of you are here all weekend long coding when it was really your intro, not that you were beginners, all of you. But uh, I think that was a really effective mechanism to start those ripples of what can happen from here. And I would actually just give everyone uh, here a task when you leave sometime in the next seven days, find someone under the age of 13 to share what you did and how you felt about it this weekend and let them understand what cool things there are out there to do 
it's just about that age when they start thinking that what you did this weekend is not for them. And we need everybody to be all in. And certainly everybody here at Space Apps New York was all in. So thank you very, very much. And congratulations. So, On behalf of Deborah Diaz, who just had to go catch a plane, um, I wanted to, she instructed me to once again thank Mike and Alice for making this happen and your whole team, that this huge team here. Yeah, super awesome. Because again, without the local hosts, we wouldn't have this because we give you our data. But I also do want to thank the NASA team. So Elizabeth, please stand up. She is our community organizer. All right. So Elizabeth makes sure all of this, she's answered all of your emails. She's sent email to all of you. She's had the in three time zone, the coordination calls once a week, and it's just incredible we wouldn't be able to do it. And also Jason Dooley in the back, our data emperor. So you wouldn't have any data and you wouldn't have the Space Apps website if it weren't for Jason. He's been in the back room answering all your questions when you couldn't get your project to come up and all that. So he's been doing that. And again, thank you all for doing that. Oh, and Eldora. So Eldora does, and Eldora does all our communications. So thank you, Eldora. And Gladys does challenges. And that's it for me. So thank you all. We've had a, we, NASA, have had a fabulous time being inspired by what you guys are doing. And, and we just appreciate all of you and all of you. And it really was. I just was sitting in the room while they were arguing over who wins. Um, so you're all winners. And, and this is just, again, we want our, these innovations to take, you know, to have more legs. So you keep working on them. I mean, this is just the beginning. Keep it at it. Keep, you know, team if you want to team some more. If you see some ideas that were at the, at the table that you, you know, you would like to work with, at, bring it in. So back to you. Thank you. Thank you guys for, for those really wise choices. I think you guys really nailed it on the head. Um, but honestly, every single one of you in my eyes is a winner. Um, please give yourselves all a round of applause again. You know, I, I, I sometimes get a little emotional at the end of this. <laughs> I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to keep it together. Um, but just the work that you guys do is so important. You know, you've, you've open sourced solutions. You've made first steps. Like people around the world can keep working on the solutions that you have put forth. And uh, it's just so great. Uh, I had uh, actually, um, there's, there's so many more people to thank and I, I wanna call some of them up here. Um, Alice, please come up. Um, our, our organizing team uh, has been mentioned quite a few times, but uh, you, the names have not been mentioned, and I want to call out all those folks. Uh, Jean Brooks, would you, would you mind coming up? <laughs> Jean, Jean, is our, Jean is our operations and sponsor liaison. Um, I'd li like to also shout out to our technical advisor, Juan Mueller, is he around? Um, if you've seen the awesome stickers, you've seen our brand new logo that we, we had this year, um, our creative director, John Oakwest. Is John out there? Uh, if you're watching this now, and you've been watching it since the Women in Data Bootcamp, uh, this fantastic live stream uh, from our, our volunteer live stream production crew, uh, our executive producer, Nikki Brovold. Nikki, I see you back there. <laughs> Nikki, Nikki is one of those great storytellers, and she's done such a fantastic job. Uh, our executive technical producer, Sean Persbella. Um, 
uh, our, our live stream operations lead, who's operating the live stream, so we can't get him up on stage. <laughs> Jolie, Jolie McPhee. Uh, our video producer, Mike Wilson, is he still around? Mike? Thank you, Mike, Mike Wilson. One round of applause for all these awesome people. Um, so I'm just gonna once again thank all of our sponsors who really, you know, this is a completely grassroots event and you know, completely funded by sponsor dollars. Um, none of us gets paid if we just do it for love. Um. We love you. Love you. Thank you. Um, our, our intergalactic sponsor, Microsoft, who was such a huge help and such an important part of this event. Uh, interstellar sponsor and Space Apps Challenge global partner, IBM. Uh, interstellar sponsor, Socrata. Uh, Supernova, spo uh, Supernova sponsors Intel Mashery, About.com, TouchLab, Twilio, SparkPost, and Double Dutch. All of you guys were great. Thank you. Um, and we want to thank, again, our organizing partners, the New York Technology Council, Startup Bus, Microsoft, of course, the Internet Society, New York Chapter, Yotel, PBS Digital, and Sitter's Studio. And don't forget, we still have t-shirts and water bottles and stickers for all you guys for all thanks for your hard work. So we'd like to... Just really quickly, I just want to say that Mike especially, um, he was really the driving force behind this event and he works day in and day out and it, um, you know, he, he's a great team collaborator, he's a great leader um, and it wouldn't have happened without him. So just a quick shout out. Let's, let's bring all the winners back up here. All you guys come on up, let's take some pictures. You guys are awesome.
One, one quick note, um, so do, do not forget, you, we do have swag, so make sure to pick up your t-shirts and there's stickers and water bottles. Um, you can join our meetup group. We have a meetup.com group, Space Apps NYC on meetup.com. Uh, follow us on Twitter. We hope to do more year-round events as well. So thank you so much, everyone, and we'll see you next year.